Alright. I'm back. I think I solved the issue of our, uh, what you call them? I think I solved the little graphical issue. We had to update something. So that's better. I mean, it's still 30 frames per second. It's still trash, but, you know, it's, it's not as bad as it was. Boy, them graphics is... Ooh, wait a minute. Skip them. Hold on. We gotta... Wait, how did they... They told us... Wait a minute, dude. Do I want to fight the skip loom? Or, or, or the skitty or whatever the hell this thing is called. I want to fight this. Oh, it's a hot pip. I know it goes into a skip loom. Splash. Here, have my balls. I think I got a hot pip. Hot pip's data has been opened up. Uh, I'll give it a nickname? No. I like how the Pokédex is like an encyclopedia. That's dope. To that school or whatever the hell we're supposed to be going. I don't remember. But it's 30 frames per second is bad, bad. It's bad. Why is anything 30 frames per second? Taco Bella. Don't tell me not to head to the border. Because I'm going. So far, you've caught. What was that? I heard that cry before. Could it be a strong, strong Pokemon or something? I said we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around. Let's be careful. This kind of unsafe. There's kind of unsafe. There's a kind of unsafe cave around here. And I know your rotom phone can keep you safe, but watch your steps. At a distance, most things in the game lose its frames. With how much it's trying to render, they only get full frames in close proximity. That's still terrible. That's still terrible. You gotta understand, and I kinda said this in my introductory video. They made it they made the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch was Oh, that's the legendary. They got two Hondors down there. No, I feel like the Nintendo Switch, that's kind of inexcusable. Because the Switch was supposed to be Nintendo's answer to, like, the PS4 and the Xbox One. You got to remember, like, they cut the lifespan short of the Wii U just to make this thing. And... Yeah, it, it is, but that, that was like... But they stopped making games for the Wii U... Because they announced the, oh, why is this so loud? But they stopped making games for the Wii U in order to make games for the Switch. Because that was supposed to be their answer. That was supposed to, at the time, that was their next-gen console. You know, because the, the Wii U was more so PS3 and, um, and Xbox 360. And the Switch was supposed to be their answer to the PS4 and the Xbox One. I mean, still... 
it's kind of fucked up that this game, like somebody did a 60 frames per second mod and they uploaded it to YouTube. It's not available to the public yet, but it's like, y'all couldn't do this game in, in, in 60 frames. Like that's kind of bad. Like literally by today's standards, that's bad. Like for games like for for a game like this, this should be. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. That's basically what I mean, because when the Wii U came out, the Wii U came out at the end of the lifespan of the, of the Xbox uh, 360 and the PS3. And so when Nintendo realized, oh shit, like we released this Wii U system a little late, you know. They tried to hurry up and make another system, which, which was the Nintendo Switch. It wasn't as powerful as the PS4 and the Xbox One, of course, but that was supposed to be their response to that. Like, oh, we got this next gen system. It's not as strong, but, you know, it's better than the Wii U. Like, matter of fact, I think the Wii U was only out for what, like six months or, or like eight months or like a year or something like that before the Switch came out. It, it, the, the Wii U doesn't even have a big library. Bro, we gotta be able to change these shorts. I'm, I'm sorry. Since I started, like this dude got a whole man Gina. Like, <laughs> like them short. These are hoochie daddy shorts, bro. Like, tell me he looked like he not getting ready to head to the woods and, and get a campfire started. Bro, it's it's gotta be a way to change these damn shorts. These shorts is terrible, and this hat don't make it any better. I'm sure she's ridiculous. Hey, I don't know if you know, but is there any chance that we're going to get some different clothes in this game? The selling point wasn't its power. It was the fact that they have a full console. Yeah, yeah, that part too. And it's also portable. Nine hour battery. And don't worry. Okay, good. Because these shorts is... Making me feel some type of way. That's not a good thing. Damn ads. Eight. Oh, I can't turn the ads off. Uh, dang. I hate the ads, bro. I don't even. I don't even think I can control them because I'm not even on Switch. I'm. I'm doing this through Streamlabs. can't hear you hey just let me know when you're back um i need to find maybe like a, I, I hate those ads so much oh dang what, what the hell i gotta give it the sandwich i don't want to give it the sandwich i mean i was gonna enjoy this sandwich oh, well maybe i can get another one it's a damn robot machine like what the hell Look at him, man. I can see his thighs up his shorts, bro. This... I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, like I was saying, I don't know how to stop the ads from playing because, like, I never tinkered with the settings. I mean, for what I'm hearing, people can't control the ads. I think Twitch just forces it on, forces them on people, which is kind of crazy. This thing is a whole digitized Pokemon. It literally looks like a motorcycle. You can kind of control it, but you you cannot get rid of it. Uh, I'm gonna have to tinker with the sins later. Yeah. This thing is a whole digital robot. Does this thing turn into a damn jet? Now I know damn well I should be able to ride this damn thing. There's no way this thing has a seat on the back with jets on it and I'm not able to ride it. 
Supposedly, there's the more you manually play, the less they'll automatically play. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna have to head to the settings afterward. Bro, I know I get to ride that Pokemon. Pause. But I, <laughs> you can't tell me I don't. That, dude, that's a motorcycle Pokemon. A flying jet. And, and if I'm not mistaken, I think the one in Scarlet. I mean, here's the thing about my channel, right? And I got to make this known. There's no such thing as spoiling something for me. Because I have to actually play through it in order to understand it. So you can even say what it is. I mean, don't go far deep down in the story and spoil that. But if it's something like, hey, if I get to ride that that, that Pokemon or use it as like a jet or something, let me know. Because that would be something to get excited about. Okay, then. Yeah. Okay. okay. Said so eventually. Um... How soon is eventually? Like early game, mid game, late game? Like, I don't know. Like what are we talking? Over time, you get to upgrade it to. Okay, bet. Uh, I'm fine. I'm managing. I'm managing. Early game. Okay, good. So they went. Really, okay, so, so the Pokemon is basically like the bicycles in the in the past Pokemon games. Got to find some way to climb up. Mm -hmm. I'll find a way. And once you get to the school, you'll have a motorcycle before. Okay, okay, cool. Oh, Eddie got something down there. Hold up. Oh. Another thing I was saying is like, we haven't had a Pokemon game like this or since like the Arceus Legends game since like the Nintendo 64. And, and like the GameCube, because you, you remember they had like Pokemon Coliseum, Pokemon XD, uh, Gale of Darkness, um, P P Pokemon uh, Stadium, which is, it seemed like they based the, these games off of that. I, I mean, it could be a stretch, but I think they did that. Because um, that was the last time I remember these type of games. Ooh, another Pokemon. That's the last time I, I remember a game being made like this. It's not gonna kill it, is it? Ooh, just enough. Like, the reason why I'm playing Violet is that everybody who I've seen playing this version of the game, playing this game, they was doing the Scarlet version. Nobody played the Violet version for whatever reason. So, ooh, Palmy Long Thunder Shot. So we got electricity. Young Goose. Uh, sent to my box. Okay. Do I think it's dope how the Pokédex is like an encyclopedia? Like, I think that's dope. But yeah, like the last time I played a game with this type of design, it was uh, like, I think what, Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon Coliseum, Pokemon DX, Gale of Darkness, the, the, those three games. Ooh, Diglett. Hold on, we got to switch Pokemon because I definitely... Must have been seeing a rare few that play Scarlet. Most people I see play Violet. Hell, I even play Violet. Oh, I didn't see too many people. Like, the only ones I seen, the only people I seen were the ones playing Scarlet. I was like, what's the matter with the Violet version? The Violet version looked like, looked like it would be better. Because it looks more galactic. Even when you look at the names, like, Violet has, like, some type of, like, stars in, like, the, in, like, the wording and all that. You know, like, with Scarlet, it looks more native. With Violet, it looks kind of more futuristic, kind of. So I, I was like, dang. For a second, I thought nobody was playing it, so I was like, shit. Not the shot. Uh, let me go to this. Swap. It might be a bad idea to do this, but... That's a Diglett, bro. That's one of the OG Pokemon. That's one of the original ground types.
First one I've seen in the cave. Definitely going to the bag though. Potion. this point I'll just scratch the hell out of it and see what happens there's a past and future theme of Scarlet and Violet that's why Scarlet's oh okay yeah that makes sense that makes sense why is Dicklet avoiding all these damn attacks I don't want to, you know, let's go with LeChunk. Yeah, that looked dope, though. You know, like, I didn't read up on the game prior to this. Mind you, I just got to switch to play these games, so. And, and mind you, this is my first Pokemon game since Pokemon Black and White version 2. You got to throw your Pokeball at, at, a, at Diglett from a distance. With RZ. I think I did hit him with a Pokeball. I don't know if I can just catch him blindly like this, but let's, let's try. It might be a waste of a Pokeball, but I'm not finna pass up a Diglett. Oh, shit. I fucking didn't want it to get caught. No, we ain't giving Dignan no nickname. Add to the party. I'm gonna swap. Uh, let's see. We got grass types. We're in a meadow right now, so grass won't be too. Um, I mean, I got Quaxley, so I'll I'll keep him. And I know where the hop hips are around here, so I can just catch another one if I need to. I'm gonna switch hop up out. Diglet dirt. Always go for Diglet. You're the only one I've seen here. They got more young gooses in here than anything. Yeah, when I do that. Oh shit, they back. What was a gang of them? Oh shit, man, man, he really went and got the homies. Yeah, like, yeah, talk that shit now. Once you get to the first Pokemon Center, you'll be able to connect to other players for trading battle, raid battles, and the Union Circle. Whatever the Union Circle is. And I think I'm gonna hold off on any type of online anything until I just can get the you know, because even though I haven't played, like, this is my first Pokemon game in, like, 10 years. Like I said, the last Pokemon game I played on stream was Pokemon White version 2 on November 28th, 2012. So, it was exactly 10 years ago. It was exactly 10 years ago. 10 years in, in like, 3 days. 10 years in. Yeah, like, but, but at that time, you got to understand... I played Pokemon so much, like I was just Pokemoned out. I was just Pokemoned out. Like I, I kind of got tired of them. Like I literally got Pokemoned out. Like I played every Pokemon game from the Game Boy to the Nintendo 64 to the GameCube. You know what I'm saying? Like I just, I, I played all of them, and I was just Pokemoned out because I started noticing like the same thing. You know, because I, I mean, obviously with Pokemon games, there's like this streamline. Uh, way that they make them you know like you wake up in your mama house you go talk to your mom then you go meet the professor oak of the series you get your starter pokemon the rival shows up and gets the type advantage over you you fight him and then you go on your journey i don't think i could ever become a pokemon pokemon doubt my first pokemon game was gold version when i was a kid i had the gold version you know what my sister bought my nephew 
and me Game Boy Colors for Christmas that year. And my nephew got the silver version and I got the gold version. So that, that was... That was my first Pokemon game, but I went back and I played red, blue, green, and yellow, you know, that era. And then I missed the Ruby and Sapphire era. I missed that. I missed the Diamond and Pearl. Well, I, I didn't really miss Diamond and Pearl because I played the Platinum version. So that was like the enhanced version of those two. Um, So I didn't really miss that era. Um... I'm trying to think what came after oh yeah then they had the black and white I played that then they had black and white version 2 I played that and then that's when I'm, that's when my Pokemon days ended <laughs> like I was just done with Pokemon for a while and I, I haven't played a Pokemon game in 10 years exactly oh behind you oh shoot it's Houndoom Bro, I remember I had, oh damn, now that I think about it, I remember in, in gold and silver, I don't know if it was gold and silver or, or if it was black and white, I had like all the dog Pokemon, I had like all the dog Pokemon, and I had like a team of them, what the hell, oh he's uh, he's fire, I don't know he was crunch, he didn't crunch, uh, that's roar, what the hell did you just put in my pocket? Damn, you stopped at the wrong time because after black and white, black and white too, come XY. XY, that's what it was. XY. When the Mega Evolutions got introduced. Yeah, I missed that whole era. Like, I, w I didn't play the games. I was still watching the show. So I was hip to what was going on. It's just that I didn't, um, I didn't, I didn't play the games anymore. You know, like I moved on to other games, more console games. These jets are fire, bro. I like that. I like this legendary. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I really like this legendary. The dude is a damn jet. <laughs> but yeah, I can um like I paid attention to what was going on in Pokemon. I just didn't play the games. Like, I think I just got tired of the games at that time. But I was paying attention to it. Like, I know about the Mega Evolutions and all that. Um, the uh, Gigantamax versions, the Aloha versions and all that. Would you say to no other OG Pokemon Dratini? Would you say no to another OG Pokemon Dratini? Ooh. Dratini. I'm feeling... Hold on. Because if I'm not mistaken, that's Dragonite's form. Like, one of Dragonite's earlier forms, right? Or, or, or is that that legendary that I'm thinking about? Because I think it was a legendary name, Dratini, wasn't it? Either Dratini is Dragonite. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Would you say no to another OG Pokemon Dratini? I have a shiny Dratini that I'm not using. Yep, because Dragonite not legend. Okay, yeah, I remember. But I remember during the early Pokemon games when Dragonite was a fucking boy. Unless you was prepared for that fight, your ass was you was fighting an uphill battle. That Dragonite from fucking what Cynthia, I think. In those earlier days, well, she was a man. Uh, the robotic engine Pokemon is down. I know what's wrong with it. it ain't got no gas in it. I have a shiny Jatiji I'm not using. Yeah. No, like, I'm just holding off on all the online features until um 
just until I get things the way I want it in the main game. I probably hold off on uh, on any type of trading or anything like that until that happens. I don't want to jump into everything too quick. Don't gas my ass. He ain't your damn sandwich. <laughs> Man, I wanted that sandwich too. It'd be fucked up if they just gave me that sandwich just to give it to that thing. Looks perked up a little. That was premium quality meats. Shit, he ate. Hey, you know what? Now that I think about it, he ate that sandwich and he went into his little powered up form. You've got a trainer, let me battle against it. I, ain't gonna lie, I like that Rotom phone. It's good to see Rotom still has some relevancy in this in this game. But I remember when Rotom was a damn vacuum cleaner, a damn refrigerator, a fucking a lamp with special ingredients. Right, the special ingredients. Wink, wink. <laughs> special ingredients. Bro, that ass need to take off. It's two things I want to change. I want to get rid of this damn hat, and I want to get rid of this damn, get rid of these damn shorts. Hopefully I get to do that after I reach this damn lighthouse. Hey, this is a lighthouse. Why do I gotta... Hey, wait. Tell me we can go back to that cave and catch one of those... Oh, damn. Bro, tell me we can go back to the cave and catch one of those houndooms. I'm gonna be mad if I miss my opportunity. I wanna be able to catch one of those houndoors. Oh, Pokemon Run. Rotom is still those things. If you can catch one, you can get a hound door elsewhere. Okay. I mean, I figured I was going to find it somewhere else. I just thought I could go back to the cave and just catch one. The fuck is this? Is that a bug? To Pokemon is. Oh, it is a bug. Scatter bug. I don't remember seeing that Pokemon before. Pull out Diglett real quick. Dude, that was the only Diglett in the cave. And then they just let you catch it. String shot. I will say this. It might not seem like much, but Pokemon came a long way when they when they let you just like pan the camera around like this. I think Scatterbug is from 5th or 6th generation. It's more than likely one of the generations I skipped. Unless it's like a baby form of a Pokemon that I'm familiar with. You know, let me just try to catch it. Yeah, I don't want to skip. More than likely. Matter of fact, I think the last Pokemon game I played had an ice cream cone Pokemon. I think, you know what, that was the thing that made me stop playing Pokemon because of how ridiculous they was getting. And I was like, bro, an ice cream Pokemon, they running out of ideas. Like, I it was literally a Pokemon that was an ice cream cone. Like, I'm not even playing. Like, I can't remember the, the damn thing name, but it was a poke it was an ice cream cone Pokemon, and that shit threw me for a loop. It, that was one of the reasons that I just said, you know what, I don't know, like, maybe I'm just past Pokemon. Maybe I need a Pokemon break. But it was going through an experimental phase at that point, I think. Ice cream Pokemon. But then again, they already had a vacuum cleaner. They had Pokemon that was that was words in the unknowns. So I mean, like, what else is new? Why that little? Oh, it, oh, it got worse. They created. A Klefki later. 
literally a floating keychain. Hold on. Wait, I'm gonna look this up right now. Floating key Pokemon. I thought the ice cream cone was bad. Let me find out they did something stupid. I know you lying. Wait a minute. I know you lying. It's literally a fucking keychain Pokemon. Now, of course, you like you would think it would be a ghost type, right? It should be a ghost type. No, it's a steel and fairy type. I mean, it's a, it's a keychain, so I would assume that maybe it was possessed. No, it's a goddamn keychain. So let's see. They have a skeleton key. A goddamn Honda Civic. That's literally a Honda Civic key on that. Like, if you could tell, that key that's like right there, that's a Honda Civic key. Nope, not possess his, his fairy. But this thing has a Honda Civic. Well, then again, it was made in Japan. And Honda is a Japan. I don't know. Details. Like they, they didn't made some weird ass Pokemon that just didn't make no damn sense. I done seen an ice cream cone. I done seen the whole alphabet get changed in the Pokemon. I done seen fucking like with a, a fucking keychain Pokemon. That there's a motorcycle Pokemon. Like, like, like what's next? Pretty soon they're gonna be fucking. Making Pokemon from jump ropes and shit. I'm waiting on the first tennis shoe Pokemon. Matter of fact, let me see if they got that, because now I'm curious. Now I'm curious. I don't know, that keychain kind of fucked me up a little bit. Let's see, the shoe Pokemon. But about the vacuum, the fan, the fridge, and the rodents, other forms, you have to understand it's an electric. Yeah, like I know it's an electric ghost. So, so understanding that it's not as ridiculous to me as uh, the other ones. But it's like, like when you seen. A fucking refrigerator Pokemon, you gotta understand, like, the possibilities were endless. Technically, it wasn't a refrigerator Pokemon. It was a ghost possessing a refrigerator, but, you know, still. I'm in battle with a damn refrigerator. So, <laughs> like, I'm fighting, po like, I'm, I'm, I'm literally fighting Pokemon with a damn refrigerator. Maridon. So that's his name. Hey, since this thing is like a a machine type of futuristic Pokemon, I'm assuming it's been the space. And I wonder if it has some type of ties with Deoxys. I mean, it's kind of far fetched to even say that, but. I'm just thinking, like, I don't know, maybe it got some connection with Deoxys or something. I don't know. 
go to the academy too, don't you? Yes, but technically I never had a first day of school, so until then I'm just wearing a uniform. Special type of sort of Pokemon. Think you're up to ordering Maridon around? I'm about to test your worthiness. I mean, shit. Might as well. Everybody else want to battle. So I'm going to use this battle to blast these old doldrums away. I'm probably very, just a very lenient person. So most of the ridiculous things I was able to shrug off and ignore and just enjoy. Yeah, I mean, I did too. Don't get me, like, don't get me wrong. It's just I always wondered like what, what what other type of Pokemon they would come up with, and you know to, 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 to see an ice cream cone is kind of like okay like I'm trying but you know an ice cream cone I don't think it's from space it's a paradox Pokemon so it's futuristic but yet somehow unrelated oh, okay wait an unrelated version of another existing Pokemon. I don't know, they might have a legendary in this game that they didn't show. Because I highly doubt they would give you the legendary this early without there being some other one to, to, to face or catch. Cheeks. It was a cute one. Fletching learn quick attack. Never go wrong with quick attack. Well, damn, I would think kicking his ass would give me more than 300. But then again, I got 10,000 already, so I guess it don't matter. That was awesome. I guess I was never going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I had only just caught. If you really think you can take my ride on off my hands for me, you'll need this. It's the Pokeball that Brute's been kept in. Why don't you have it? I think it's your problem now, not mine. Fine, but, but you better show up to school, whatever. Damn ad. Fucking ads, bro. Okay, once I end, I'm, I'm gonna figure out how to get these ads to stop. This time he and I are battling, I'm gonna wring some answers out of him. But, oh right, we gotta climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of our school. I mean, to be honest, I raise a Villanux. Villanux! That was the name of that damn ice cream. <laughs> that was the name of that damn ice cream. These games normally have secrets behind it. You know, it's a little chunk. Oh, here it is. It is a Pokeball back here. I know these open world games have secrets and all that, so I figured I'd be going behind but is that a, a Fletcher? Or oh, it's a hop -hip. I mean, I raised the Villanux back in the black version. They're fully involved. <laughs> That's the fully evolved ice cream. It was fairly... Yeah, it was it was a powerful Pokemon. It did have a good ice beam. Like, I remember it being strong. It's just crazy. Like, I'm fighting with, a, with an ice cream. Like you gotta think about it. Like you're beating other <laughs> other Pokemon up with a damn ice cream cone. Like how crazy is that? You know. Like just imagine a bunch of wild dogs coming to attack you when you throw out an ice cream cone and it just beats all of them up. Like that just 
I don't know. That's just funny to me. Well, I'm looking forward to it. But, but all that school work. I'll probably never raise another one ever again, though. <laughs> Like I said, the only thing I can think they can they can do is make a jump rope Pokemon. This scenery would be much more beautiful if the graphics were better. Like I can just imagine if this was made with like the Unreal Five engine. Like imagine a game like this on like the, the PlayStation 5. The graphics would look so much better. I try to immerse myself in their explanations and reasoning for why these things exist. I mean, you kind of have to. I mean, technically you can't use real, real world logic to understand video games because they don't exist in the real world. Like... <laughs> So let me get this straight. She brought me up here to look at the school that we was going to instead of us just going to the school in the first place. No, I had to go see everything. Hey, how do I throw the Pokeball at that fucking spider up there? Oh, look, there's one. Hold it. Old ZL. Cause last time it wasn't working, I was wondering what the hell. I didn't. Another thing, another feature that I like is that you don't have to worry about the XP share anymore. The whole party gets experience. You know, you ain't gotta worry about holding the XP share. I hope this ain't that annoying bug guy. Dude, I know full well this ain't that bug catcher Pokemon from the old games. Bro, when I was younger, this dude was the bane of my fucking existence. I hated this dude. Even though he was easy to beat, he was just annoying. And that's him, ain't it? That's the bug catcher kid. Okay, so the battles don't automatically start no more. You gotta go up to him and you gotta pick a fight with him. If you talk to a Pokemon trainer like me, it means we're gonna battle. Oh, fuck you in that Amish hat. Youngster Alien. I don't care for what his name is. I know that's that damn, that bug Pokemon, that bug catcher dude. When I first saw the ice cream, yeah, I laughed at it hard, but then Instead of arguing its existence, me being me, accepting the, stepping and leaning it, I just went with him. Newsflash, you can walk right past any trainer now. They're all optional. Shoot, about damn time. Shit. I was talking about it earlier. I remember when you had that one, uh, that one trainer in the grass that was like turning from side to side. And you had to walk past him, and it seemed like you could never do it. Like, I remember that, that that guy. The one that was, like, turning around, and you had to time your runs and all that. Pokemon are strong, huh? 220 in prize money. Is that a Psyduck? Oh, we know we catching that. Oh, we gotta get him. Bro, when I see first generation Pokemon, I gotta, I gotta catch them. I think it's funny how Pokemon centers aren't buildings anymore. They're kiosks. And you know, because open world, right? I mean, shit. 
it would make sense to keep them as buildings. I mean, you would think. Sorry, Doc. into the box. Doom. Psyduck. One of the original 150. The red roof ahead of you, that's the Pokemon Center. This, uh... What's this? Hate to break it. Oh, okay, that's the thing I caught before. I was wondering what the hell. Oh, we gotta get digging it out. Just pulling me a derpy. I'm gonna be Pikachu. No, I ain't caught one earlier. I just couldn't tell because it was like so small. Oh, and I found out that Ash finally got a damn championship after 25 years. About damn fucking time. Switch him out. Ash finally did something. Since you get to the Pokemon Center, you can access the mystery gift. There should be a free flying Pikachu. A flying Pikachu? When the fuck did Pikachu fly? That should be a... Unless there's just like an item or something. Should be a free flying Pikachu in there. And it's chunky. They said this thing is effective. Pikachu that knows the move fly. That's, what the fuck is a terror? Oh, okay, that's new to me. I don't know, what the fuck is a terror type? How the fuck does Pikachu know fly? kind of gas like a little schoolgirl, but dude I like I, I like Azuril I call him Amaro but uh, I like that Pokemon I, I remember when that mouse was new mistaken Azuril was like second generation well, it's swap for him. Mm, I don't need to swap for him real yeah, I'm gonna be sent to the box Oh, wow. 
frost berry. I wonder why it completed with Pikachu for a long, so long. Actually, Mario and Azumarill was second gen. Yeah, I know. Yeah, like I know they were second gen. Mario Baby Form was third on later. Yeah. No, no, like I got the names confused. Like I knew who I was talking about, but I just, uh, I just got the names confused. There's a whole family over there. Well, let me not break up a happy home. I know that's not Pikachu right there, is it? I know that's not a damn Pikachu. No, that's a uh, fucking what you call him. I don't know exactly what the fuck that is. Okay, never mind. No, the hell I don't. Okay, that's not the one I've seen before. I thought that was something else. That Pokemon. Sun and Moon was another version. I played the Sun version. I, I forgot about Sun and Moon. I played that Sun version. I, I remember. I mean, it's a damn bird. What the hell do they expect? It's a damn cheer bird. It's a bird that uses cheer attacks. Let me find out one of the fucking moves is... Never mind. I was going to say, let me find out one of the moves is... The fucking Pokemon beating them up with the pom-poms. Cinnamon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, yeah. Oh no, the hell you didn't. Choose a move that's gonna be replaced for wing attack. Oh, that's for uh, what you call them? Um, lowers their attack stats. I'll get rid of this. Um, I'll get rid of growl. One, two, three, and ta da. I remember it was one, two, three, and poof. Rico Rico, an electric flying type. Oh, Rico Rico. And now we head into the Pokemon Center. Oh, like I'm kind of getting an itch. What, what, what the hell is this? Where they got Pokemon everywhere I gotta catch. Like anytime I see a new one, I gotta get it. Oh, that's Jigglypuff. That's Jigglypuff's uh Iggly Buff. Catch you now, so I ain't gotta catch you later. Eagly buff. Sheep. 
pretty sure this is an electric type. Oh, looks like an looks like an electric type. Looks like a, a, a banana dog. So we just go ahead and uh, there we go. There were some Pokemon that were introduced on Legends Arceus that I like to call Gen 8.5 Pokemon. They didn't exist yet in Sword and Shield. I miss Sword and Shield. I miss playing that game. Um, ooh, that was so damn close. Fido. That's the name of that thing, Fido? Like, Fi, you know, Fido as in like a bread dough. I mean, hey, whatever. Um, so they aren't a gen. They existed before this game. They're not gen 9. But therefore, okay. I mean, yeah, I can understand that. Ends up a Cleveland a Rock Bug. Evolution of Scyther. Wait, when the hell Scyther get a new evolution? And is it in this game? Because I only know a Scizor. Let me turn this shit into a chop fruit stand. Here's the Pokemon Center. We come here to take care of a lot of things related to Pokemon. Yeah, I bet we can. I'll leave the explanations to the pros here. Happy to be of service. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy. All my life is the Pokemart. My Pokeballs potion. We accept cash and payment and league points. One league point is worth one dollar. Time machine. <sighs> we need to pay LP league points. Okay. I'll become a handy at machines and at stores. We have a lot here. Ooh. some of these two Pokemon materials. With the Union Circle, you can connect yourself with other trainers if you find some adventuring companions. Come and visit us at the center anytime you need help. Yeah, my Pokemon need healing. Remember, had a rough adventure to get the Pokemon Center. Sometimes you have to know the sort of stuff for quizzes at school, but M M mnemonics, but M mnemonics to help out. Here's one. Are you ready to go? Well, let's go. Goofy shirt, but it kills. Helps you remember you can send your lead Pokemon out with the R button. That way, you can have the Pokemon that's walking with you pick up items lying around or go in battle on its own, stuff like that. Okay. The Pokemon starts to battle while exploring on its own. You don't need to give it any orders, it can battle on its own with auto battles, meaning that you can keep searching the area for new discoveries while watching. Okay. Auto battles will be decided by the strength and types of the Pokemon that taking part of the battle. So keep that in mind when you're choosing which Pokemon to send on its own. Hey you, healing woman. Heal my Pokemon. TM trade. What's a TM trade? All I got is uh, I ain't got no league points. Low kick. Mankey fur. All 
I just told you in Pokemon. Oh, the legends are okay. I don't think I hold off on these for right now. Protect. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's for group now, offline mode. I'll leave it alone for now. I mean, it's cool they let you pair up. At least looking at the bright side now, you ain't got to worry about having that damn, um, what you call it? That damn long ass cable trying to battle people. <laughs> 